Yeah, the problem with that uh, grater, it's a 1974 champion. 1974. <laughs> so 26 and 14, 40 years old. And it has no brakes. And I had my truck and trailer washed uh, this morning. And it's uh, a bit icy on the deck there. Not easy to load this thing. And we were trying to uh, tuck in the bucket, the blade, because this is not a, we don't have any permits, right? They told me it's a legal load. And this guy says, no, 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 no. It's going to be oversized. And I said, no, forget it. I, I, I hold these before. I know you can tuck it in. And now what they're going to do is the guy is going to drive on and then this uh, backhoe is going to block the rear tires so that the grater does not slip off again. <laughs> Let's watch. Get your popcorn. Jesus, it's cold. Minus 18. What is it? Uh, I think it's 0F. And you see what happened, right? So the, the backhoe was pushing in the back. So why was, why was it pushing? The grater was going by itself. And what happened is that... All my mustache is covered in ice. So the backhoe is pushing in the, at an angle, right? It's like unbelievable. It seems like a simple procedure. A backhoe getting loaded on the a, on a, <laughs> on a flow trailer. <laughs> and you saw what happened. The flow trailer was sliding on the ground. The back, the uh, uh, grader was sliding on the trailer. The backhoe, Jesus. So I just pray that I don't get to unload this. See, it never happens. Like, and they want me to deliver this one today and right away go to Detroit and pick up another machine. So pick up this one, unload, reload. And I, I haven't even put my chains in. And another problem is that because it's such an old machine and they use the, you know, probably small chains. Like all the holes, the back end of the frame where the bucket of the backhoe is, there's a couple of plates on each side with the holes, and you probably saw me, I was measuring my uh, big hook. It doesn't go in. They're too small, and I cannot put a chain around the axle because there's a uh, hydraulic uh, metal hose in there. I would damage that. So now my plan is, once this thing is loaded, I'm going to open that uh, compartment in the front where I have those uh, clamps and see if one of my clamps can, can go through that hole and then I'll use it to hook up the chain. And now you see I went, to, I went closer to, to take a look and the guy waved me off. He says, you know, stay away because this thing has no brakes.
someone bought it, you know. They're sending it to Ohio like someone bought a 1974 grader, maybe for a museum or something. I mean, it still works, right? It still works, but it's 40 years old. And this is a trucking school. You probably saw the trucks. It's called Ontario Truck Driving School. And I didn't even realize they have such a big uh, lot in here because I came from the front and it's just a small driveway and then the guy says, I said, I'm picking up a grader. Oh, go through the gate towards the field. So what field? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> and I started driving. There's like a whole town in here with all these trucks and trailers. And that's where these uh, students, they, uh, they learn how to back. And to my right, there's a field. Oh, geez, they're bringing an excavator. <laughs> I'm not kidding. They have another grader, like a newer version, the same champion. And they have a small cat excavator. And I see that excavator is coming towards us. <laughs> And you guys, you see, right? I'm not making this up. It's not like it's all staged. This is a real life. You know, it's like... But this is what happens in winter, you know? Loading, every load, however simple it can be, is never, is never easy. Because of ice, snow, cold temperatures. And then that guy that was loading, you know, we stopped everything because he said he had to go pee. I said, hey, well, you know, that's a sacred thing. You gotta pee. <sighs> and my, all my water froze. <laughs> I had a gallon jug of water. And overnight uh, it was uh, over minus 20 Celsius. So I came this morning, I cannot drink anything because it's all ice. Oh, and that one more thing happened that I didn't show. Another exciting thing is that my uh, air hoses got, got frozen. Like everything was disconnected, like the gooseneck, everything, the, and the Honda started, everything was cool. And I unplugged the, the electric cable from the gooseneck, but I couldn't disconnect the air cables. Because that ring, you know, they have that little automatic ring that goes in and out. It was just, it didn't want to move. There was too much dirt after they washed the trailer. And actually what I did is, uh, oh, here's the cat. Cat 315. I think that's, that's what I'm picking up pretty much. Yeah, I'm picking up a s small one. This is 315. So, you know, the, the smaller the number, the rear two numbers. Yeah, I'm picking up 321. Okay, I'm picking up a slightly bigger machine in Detroit. Just uh, north of Detroit. So what's the plan? Alright, so now we're bringing the support legs down. Oh boy. I have to go move my chain.
that was quite some movie, isn't it? So a simple machine, something stupid, that only barely weighs 20,000 pounds, what is it, 26? And it created such a hassle, all because of cold weather, ice, snow. Well, but finally, looks like I'm almost done. All I need to do is just hook up to the trailer and hope that my uh, air hoses will snap in. Because sometimes I have in cold weather, not only is it difficult to disconnect them, but to reconnect them. They keep, they don't want to stay put. Well, thanks for watching.